A local church in West Lincoln is responding to the mental health challenges the community is facing by providing a safe and welcoming space for those struggling with addiction and their mental health, regardless of faith or beliefs. Simone Gravels explains. I had a lot of struggles in my past through high school and through um, like outside of high school. Alex Lantman struggled with his mental health when he was in high school, which eventually led to him abusing drugs. Out here, there's not really a lot of supports and there's not really a lot of um, help for teens and that kind of stuff. Like there's help for adults. Throughout my teenage years, I kind of turned to drug use and like hurt, harming myself and harming others. And it didn't really help me progress through life. His mom, Rochelle, noticed that Alex needed help around grade nine when he was showing signs of anger, mood swings, and irregular sleeping patterns. It was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking to know that he was struggling and there was nothing I could do as his mother. After losing someone close to him in 2020, it changed Alex's perspective on life and he turned to his childhood church at St. Luke's for support. By letting me come in and talk about my feelings and feel like I was open and not really pushing God onto me, more just letting me work my way through things. I'm feeling a lot better. I've gotten my stuff together, changed a lot, grown up. The church has been working with people one-on-one -on -one for the last few years to provide a safe and welcoming place for everyone to get help with their mental health struggles and other issues. Reverend Ellie and I are not therapists, we're not social workers, we're not trained in that regard. Through our pastoral care training, what we are trained to do is to listen. Stephen LaSalle with the church struggled with his own time. mental health and found his way to St. Luke's during his recovery. People, when they are struggling, feel very much that they're alone. So as a church, we started looking at how we could strengthen the community and make people feel more welcome regardless of their faith or belief or how they identify. Regular service happens Sunday mornings, but there's social time after for people to mingle and connect. The church also opens its doors Wednesday morning and has people available to talk to throughout the week. The church works with other agencies to ensure people are receiving professional support if needed. Come September, St. Luke's is going to be meeting with other faith leaders to discuss how they can improve mental health together within the community. Simone Gavros, CHCH News, Smithville.